week's academy, we have four lessons. Four lessons. The first lesson is when we talk about doing traditional cardio, like long duration cardio, what's, wh what's that threshold? Like, is more cardio better? Um, you know, and I think that's always the, always the question because a lot of you guys watching are hardcore. I mean, you guys are dedicated to the point. We'll do what it, what it takes to optimize your body composition, you know, and I feel like as a community, we're all working together towards those goals, but it's more better. So there's a study where they did 30 minutes versus, of, of cardio versus 60 minutes of cardio on every day, and basically what they ended up finding is that... At, um, and they, at the end of the study, they ended up, so one group basically burned 600 calories an hour, one group burned 300 calories. And so you would think, well, logically, the group that burned 600 calories would lose more fat than the group that burned 300 calories. Turned out they both lost the same amount of fat. That's paradoxical, right? One group's burning 600, the other group's 300, and they have the same amount of calories burned. It's a paradox. But the answer to the question is that the group that burned 600 calories were so much more hungry that they ate an extra 300 calories. So both had a net loss of 300 calories because the other group ate 300 extra because they were so hungry. Have you ever done that like when you're doing cardio and basically you just get a lot hungrier so you eat a lot more? Well that is, is what was going on. So basically a take on message, do a moderate amount of cardio or you're going to get real hungry. Possibly one way to get around that if we go from the dieting literature is to possibly cycle your, your cardio. So maybe one high, long duration cardio session a week, but not every day. You'll compensate. So next question, next, next study that we talked about was concurrent training where basically you have uh, resistance training uh, um, uh, or you have resistance training plus cardio or cardio alone. Now a lot of people, maybe a lot of your friends, um, you know, you know, are trying to lose weight, and um, they'll basically say, "Oh, I'm just trying to lose weight, so I'm just going to do cardio, right?" Um, so this study basically looked at just cardio alone versus cardio plus resistance training, and the cardio alone group, their metabolisms went down. So their metabolisms went down. That's no bueno, right? So basically. Think about cardio almost, yes, you get metabolic adaptations, which are positive, but cardio in general is almost like calorie restriction. So what happened was, just like normal calorie restriction, your metabolism is going to go down because you're going to lose a lot of muscle if you're just doing cardio. So, guys, um, also, we're in the middle of this, but share this with your friends. Spread the love. I would, we re all really appreciate it. Let's get as many people as we can. So right now, if you're there, hit share. Uh, so... Okay, so let's go on. So the next thing that we talked about, actually today's post, was actually quite interesting, right? It was like a few I watched. Uh, so this was, remember we talked about how long duration, low intensity cardio um, can actually um, slow your, uh, make you hungrier? This study looked at the impact of doing HIT cardio on hunger. And guess what happened? It actually lowered hunger. So when you did hit cardio, you actually lowered hunger. And I'll tell you what, right now, like, I know the guys and, and us, when we do, like, uh, uh, hit cardio, you're not hungry for a little bit, right? There's a couple reasons why. But one is you stimulate the release um, of a satiety uh, uh, hormone called PYY. So PYY um, is released from the, in, the intestine, the small intestine, and basically stimulates, tells your brain that you're more satiated. And high intensity cardio stimulates PYY and makes us not as hungry. So again, if you're trying to like, if you're real hungry, do a few sprints, that'll raise adrenaline, that'll make you less hungry, and PYY will also make you less hungry. So let's go ahead and transition to what tomorrow's lesson is gonna be, because I think I'm gonna be on a plane tomorrow to Louisville, Kentucky, but there's a, I don't, when I say I think there's a hurricane coming through, and I don't know if I'm going to be on that plane. So we might have a hurricane Q&A uh, tomorrow. But, it, <laughs> but anyway, uh, let's go ahead and talk about uh, this last study. And that actually and Andy Barniger here um, published that in abstract form uh, at the NS, NSCA National Conference, and he presented that data. And so what, what Andy basically in our lab showed was that if you do HIT um, versus steady state cardio, 
What's the impact on keto adaptation, and what did we find, Andy? That HIT increased um, ketones more than steady state. Boom. So basically what happened is HIT increased ketones more in steady state, so you became like basically keto adapted faster, and we think the mechanism for that is because you deplete muscle glycogen. So guys, that's the lesson, and take-home messages are one, HIT cardio, Basically, it makes you more satiated, like you're not as hungry. Moderate duration cardio doesn't really increase hunger at all, and you can lose fat on it. Doing more than 30 minutes, you pretty much X things out oftentimes because you just get so hungry. Um, so if you're going to do more, you're going to have to be very strict on your diet, and it's going to be harder to be strict on your diet. Um, finally, hit cardio uh, from the man himself, uh, Barninger over here, Andy Barninger, basically shows that you keto adapt faster than low intensity cardio. So from that guys, thanks a lot. Share this stuff. We're getting ready to answer your questions. We'll do rapid fire. Just answer your questions here. Share the love. Uh, like uh, Jessica right here, she's sharing the love. We love you too. Uh, and uh, let's do it. So first question, <clears throat> what kind of cardio is best to keep retain lean muscle mass? Um, what's the best type of cardio to retain lean muscle mass? Um, well, I would say that our lab, we did a study where we did HIT cardio versus low intensity cardio, and we did it on hockey players. The HIT cardio actually caused an increase in, in quad muscle size. I think we're the first study to show hypertrophy with HIT cardio, and we published that study. Um, <clears throat> but the low intensity cardio caused a low decline in muscle mass. So I would say HIT cardio. Is fast cardio for science? Fasted cardio is a bro science. Some people say yes, some people say no. We only have two studies on fasted cardio and actual body composition changes. One was Ramadan, and it showed a benefit. The problem was that they didn't control for diet. One was by Dr. Brad Schoenfeld, where they gave a shake before exercise or immediately after, and they found no differences in body composition. But traditionally, when people do fasted cardio, they'll do fasted cardio, and they'll stay fasted till the afternoon. So... Would that work? I don't know. So it's not bro science because we don't have enough studies on it. So I'm not going to say yes or no. Um, I, you know, don't know. Best type of cardio for on a ketogenic diet? That's in everything. Like we have no studies on, on that. What, well, actually, going with Andy's thing. And, and Andy's study that he did, uh, hit cardio makes you keto adapt faster. So, um, but the one thing I'll say is that... Yeah, so I'll go with that. Best types of supplements on cardio while doing cardio? Best type of supplements doing cardio? Well, you want to spare muscle mass. So I'm going to go with HMB. That's going to spare muscle mass for sure. Um, and, uh, you know, BCAAs are positive. What do you guys think? You guys have questions? You have no, no. Okay. No. Uh, the other thing I'm going to say is this. When you do cardio, you're trying to burn fat. So, you, you know, ideally you don't want a lot of carbs around your cardio session. Um, it may blunt some adaptations, uh, mitochondrial adaptations. So I would say things like MCTs, if you need energy, could give you uh, energy for the cardio. Okay. Up on that. Oh, yeah, I'll hit them up right. here. So scale of 1 to 10. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's Will, Will from our lab. Scale of 1 to 10, how pretty am I? I don't know. You're pretty pretty, Will. You're like 9 or 10, buddy. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, that's right, Josh. So um, BCAs on hit cardio? Dude, I think so. I mean, why not? They increase protein synthesis, um, and I think they absolutely could be beneficial. Um, <clears throat> all right, so just, uh, Dre said, what's up from Hawaii? What's up, my man? Um, uh, hi, Kim. Uh, is ketogenic diet the best for a quick fat loss? How would someone who works out five times a week intensity and do intervals expect to lose in one month following a perfect setup of keto? It depends. Everyone's different. You know, I would say if you're super lean, very lean, a half a pound to one pound a week. If you're over 20% body fat, you could lose anywhere from one to five pounds a week. You know, I mean, obviously, at the beginning, a lot of that's going to be water weight. But let's say maybe two pounds a week on average, if you have a lot of body fat, 
half to one pound a week on average. But the point is you're not going to be that hungry on a ketogenic diet. Like uh, <laughs> I'm doing keto uh, right now, especially with travel. And <clears throat> I left Norway. I Because they're, the time zone so off, I overslept. And I had to rush to the plane in Oslo. So I didn't get to – the plane ride was like – nine hours and I didn't, I didn't get to eat for almost like 20 hours and I wasn't hungry. In fact, I was in the keto zone. <laughs> so, alright, you guys can ask me ask questions or you want me to just go ahead. Um, Does, um, how long does it take to, to make metabolic adaptations while doing cardio? How so, long does it take to do metabolic adaptations? With? So, until you adapt to the actual cardio. So, say you start with 30 minutes and then you plateau. And you pop it up to 60 minutes, then you plateau. So. Yeah, from looking at a study, since most studies are like four to eight weeks and stuff, think about it. you adapt to a diet in anywhere from seven to ten days. Well, I don't mean like fully make adaptations, but I'm saying you are making adaptations. So even a cardio, you're probably making adaptations within the first week. You'll you'll no, you'll start noticing hunger adaptations. You'll be hungrier, you know, at within a week. Um, <clears throat> Let's see, real quick here. Do you, uh, Con asks, do you need to be in a caloric deficit if shredding by a keto? Thanks. Um, to be honest, we actually did a study where we put people on maintenance calories, and they had body recomposition. They, you know, they lost fat and gained muscle at the same time. So no, you don't. <clears throat> um, Steven says, if you walk in the mornings, is it beneficial to change the duration? Uh, uh, increase slash decrease every day. I mean, walking that when it is so low intensity that I don't think you adapt as much to walking. We're really talking about being in that cardio zone. How many questions should I take more? Uh, take three more. Three more questions. I have, I have one. Um, should when doing cardio for fat loss, should you mix up um, hit and steady state, or should you strictly stick with hit versus strictly stick with steady state? Great question. Great question. If you're doing cardio, should you mix up hit and steady state? Um, I actually think that can be beneficial. There's research demonstrating that when you do hit, what happens? What hormones are being elevated when you do hit? Right? I mean, tell me, you guys, it's like adrenaline, right? And adrenaline is one of the most potent fat metabolizing agents that we know. So, boom, you do hit, you raise that up. Now you do steady state cardio like walking, for example, and um, you'll actually utilize more fat during that steady state. So the combination of the two, um, stacked with keto, <laughs> and you're good to go. <laughs> the ketologist is here, so I had to throw that out. Chris Irvin. <laughs> okay, um, uh, if you want, uh, GoCon asks, if you want to lose weight, where should you... Uh, where should your focus be? Cardio and lifting weights, what's the best combination? Do both, and diet's going to be obviously key, but a combination of uh, cardio and resistance training, well, you'll lose more fat. Um, <clears throat> one last question. One last question. Um, so I love you guys. If, if you're comparing hit and steady state, say 30 minutes of heavy to steady state, how equivalent is that to hit? So maybe <sighs> metabolic equivalence maybe, or maybe looking at total work done. Great question. The thing to understand is this. When you talk about a calorie expenditure standpoint, the 30 minutes of steady state cardio, during that session you will actually have more calories expended. For example, you might spend like 300 calories. Whereas if you did like a couple of sprints, you know, maybe you expend 80 uh, calories. It doesn't seem like much, and yet there's now tons of studies starting with Scott Trappy's lab, um, to our research showing that you oftentimes lose more body fat. Why? Because I think you're getting a lot of metabolic adaptations when you're talking about doing like um, hit cardio. So that's one thing. I think you might cause you know, quite a bit of, of depletion, a lot of disruption in the cell. You might increase mitochondria in the cell. So the metabolic adaptations are more uh, sometimes in the steady state cardio. In, when you have greater fat metabolism capacity or more mitochondria and less hunger, that equals more fat metabolism. So it's affecting other mechanisms like insulin sensitivity, um, fat metabolism capacity, 
and uh, hunger is lowering, where steady state uh, cardio is increasing likely hunger, so that the calorie difference is pro might be a wash. So uh, I think that's, that's it. Um, someone goes, what's the percentage of max heart rate that's considered steady state? Anything that you're just staying the same as steady state. So. I love